Take flight with audio airstrike. At this stage in the game, both these bands, both these acts are solidified. Lil Wayne is solidified as a artist, as a rapper, as a legend. Blink-182 is established as a legendary rock band from the 90s, especially with the hits that everybody knows, both of these guys. So to have both of these guys together on the same stage for a once-in-a-lifetime tour, Mm -hmm. I haven't seen something like this since Jay-Z and Linkin Park. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was something different. And honestly, looking back in it, looking back at it, I didn't expect Jay to do that. So that was something different. That was something legendary. So this, I don't know if it's going to equal that. I'm not going to make I'm not going to go out on a limb and compare the two. I think we should wait and see what happens before I make that comparison. I don't want to be that guy that hypes it up <laughs> and then get news later that I didn't live up to well, the performance. Yeah. I was I was saying like also I mean like this sometimes would be a biased opinion of that one because of the death in Lincoln Park as well. Right, absolutely. So, yeah. But um So what do you what are your thoughts on it? You well, being growing up on both of their music. Yeah, absolutely. Um well I mean, this isn't the first time that we've seen um bands like that 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 have such a diverse um nature come together. I mean, recently, especially in the rap culture of we, we we've gone back into the fifties. I mean, there's a lot of rap songs that have introduced. Uh, we got Ray Charles has been, has been you know introduced. They're like basically, we're introducing two different worlds over and over and over again, and ba- and just basically showing the music and industry that we're not done. You know, cr- being creative in this. I mean, music as we've seen in just the past ever since the nineties has gone has had a staggering. Um, uh, like like um, change and been uh, manipulated in different ways to just show the creativity to different people that we've seen. I mean, like, I mean, I'm, I'm we're gonna do a name drop. We'll do Post Malone for example. He didn't even wanna go in going to rap. He was a country star for the beginning, you know. And now look at him. So it's like well, like different things that he that that um, things are going to do. Just seeing this kind of dynamic shift between um, Wayne and Blink growing up on the two, I think it's gonna be exciting. I think it's going to be very exciting to see this. I actually, I'm going to see if I can get some tickets. I'm not sure if it's going to happen. Knowing something like this is going to be quite pricey. Well, I know that they're going to be, I don't know what date. I know it's sometime in July. And I, and correct me if I'm wrong, people. They're going to be in, I guess, where your area you're from. They're going to be in Columbia, Maryland at the Mayweather Post Pavilion. I looked up the front seats. We're talking, the last time I looked, I think they were under 1000 <laughs> yeah, so you may right. have yep. to get you may have to get the seventy you may have to get the seventy dollar out in the lawn seats. <laughs> I'll go if I have to. I mean, yeah, no, that's yeah. <laughs> I mean, we were talking. You about, might have to get that. Gee, I mean, because then, then most of the tours that are going on now, what's the one that just finished? Elton John's last tour, right? Those were like five hundred plus dollars tickets to those, and that was a once in a lifetime thing. As will this be, so. Yeah, it should be interesting. I mean, I'm excited for it. I'm I'm happy that, you know, we're getting something we didn't ask for. We're getting kind of a fantasy concert we didn't ask for. Um, so it's definitely, definitely interesting. Anytime you mix Lil Wayne's raps go well with rock because he's kind of, mm-hmm. if you look at after 2008 and when he was skating a lot, he kind of had rock star flares even oh, yeah. in his clothing oh, and even yeah. what he was saying. So. Uh, that influence is there, so it's going to be interesting. It's a good mesh, I, you know. It's good for music, so yeah. and it's that's good one for of music. the good things about rock. It's very welcoming, especially in some kind of something that can be diverse. And right. I think Wayne can do something really interesting. I'm excited what he's going to bring here because none of us, if I'm correct, I don't want to be too presumptuous here, but none of us have heard a collaboration yet between the two. It's only going to be on the tour. Right. Yeah. So I mean, we're mm, at least I am. I'm really uh, excited about this to see what's going to happen. You, I feel like this could either be a love or hate. I mean, it, it definitely could be one of those. It could be that polar opposite. We don't know yet. So. Yeah, I mean, I think it's this generation's version of when Run DMC and Aerosmith mm-hmm. got together. I think mm-hmm. it's I think it's this younger generation version of Jay and Lincoln Park. You know, yeah, when we absolutely. were teenagers. You know, so it's it's good that these moments are happening where you got two distinct. And that's the thing about rock and rap, and that's why I like both. Mm-hmm. Um, they've always complemented each other well 
And when it happens, when lightning strikes and those two genres get together, mm-hmm. magic happens. Oh, yeah.